Hi guys, today's video is about stringing the heddles on my Union 36 loom. I just want to say that the way I do it isn't necessarily how you would learn to do it if you were taught by a professional or took a class. So this is just how I do it. I taught myself how to weave and this is what works best for me. So anyhow, let's just go ahead and get started. Everything's ready to start stringing the heddles. All the sections are wound on and taped off. I took all the cones off the spool rack. We're at the front of the loom now. I wanted to give you a good look at the heddles before we started the string. So let's get in close here. All right, here's a heddle. It's a wire and it has an eye in the center and that's what the string goes through. And I have all of these. There's 280 that it takes for me to make the 27 inch width rug. All right, there's 280 heddles on here. Like I said, there's 140 on each harness. So let me see if I can show you that. That's the front harness. And then the back harness. When we thread the heddles, we want to alternate between the front harness and the back harness. Here's how it looks from the back of the loom. And this is the side we'll be working from. The ones tied off are just the extras and that keeps them out of the way. We don't want everything getting tangled up. And there's extras tied up on this side. To start, we need to unwrap the string. So I just lift the tape up and fold each side over. That keeps all the strings in order and safe. And then you want to unwind enough to go to the back of the loom. So I'll do that and show you what it looks like. Finished the first section. So it is long enough to come all the way to the front of the loom. So it needs to be able to go through the heddles and then we'll run it through the beater bar and it will come and tie off here on the carpet roll. I'm gonna go ahead and unwind the rest of the sections and we'll look at that when it's done. the first string pulled out in the first section so you want to run it under your breast beam and then come back over okay the first pedal I have pulled out that I'm going to string I've got 20 counted out 10 on the back harness 10 on the front harness there's 20 strings in each section. That helps me keep track of my strings and make sure that I don't make a mistake. And if I do, it's easier to catch it in the beginning than once you're all done. It doesn't matter whether you start with the back or the front harness. I usually start with the back because that's easiest for me to remember. So the first string is gonna go in the first pedal on the back harness. First strings through the first heddle on the back harness. And now the second string will go on the next heddle on the front harness. First two heddles are strung. 
first string in the back harness, second string in the front. Now the third string will go to the back. And you alternate through all 20 strings. I'll finish the first section and we'll take a look at that. Where's the moon don't hang quite as high as it is? Here's what it looks like from front of the one. And then I just tie the section of 20 strings in a little knot. Just to keep everything neat and organized and make sure nothing happens to it. I've got seven sections done, so I'm halfway at this point. This is what it looks like from the back of the loom. Here's what it looks like from the front of the loom. Each section of 20 strings is tied off. Looks kind of messy right now, but it isn't. All the strings are in order through the heddles. Are we done yet? Can I just go outside? Okay guys, we're finally at the last section of the 14. And I have a helper today, so I wanted to show you actually pulling a string through the heddle and what that looks like. I've got a heddle hook, and this is helpful for pulling the strings through the eye of the heddles. I don't use it. It's easier for me just to pull it through with my fingers. I do use this when I slay the reed. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you that. Okay, I've got the first string pulled out in the last section. And you take the string, and I'm just gonna push it through the eye of the heddle and pull it through. And there's the first one done. Okay, this is the back side of the heddles and I just wanted to show you how I end off the section. I just take all the strings, tie them in a loose knot, and just let it drop down. And that keeps all the strings nice and safe. Hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Um, next video will be slaying the reed and then tying off and weaving. So click subscribe so you can make sure not to miss those videos when I post them. And you guys have a great weekend. Bye.